My name is Laura Lewis. I am a staff nurse at the West Suffolk Hospital in Bury St Edmunds. We started um, using the monodrop device approximately two months ago. We find on the ward that it's very useful for independent patients who are using mobile drip stands because it's a lot lighter, it's not as heavy as the infusion pumps. We find that also when someone's independent and they're moving their arms a lot that the, the rate for the alarm to go off is like three minutes rather than instantaneously so it, it saves us a lot of running backwards and forwards to um, reset and restart so it works well for that. We find that also that very useful for calculating drops. Me as a reasonably newly qualified nurse, I find that when you're using the gravity feed, you have to use the dossy flow to calculate the drops. And if you're just guessing, it, it's quite difficult for someone like me. Whereas with the money drop, I can use that to get within the range and it works perfect, I find. We've used it uh, on a many ranges of different fluids. We use it through Hartmann's, we use it for sodium chloride and glucose. The only fluid we don't use for is the potassium. As for IVs, we use it for the antibiotics, so things like tazacin and clarithromycin, Pabronex medication. We use it for a range of variety of things and we use it on a daily basis. We find it works very well. Drop helps with the COVID-19 situation because it's situated on the ward and it's easy to be cleaned. We can use it as and when without calling the porters to bring down infusion pumps to, to basically save people coming on a ward where it's, you know, a high risk. The monodrop device is so much easier. With an infusion pump, you give it an outside clean, then you have to send it away to be specially cleaned, and then you have to request them every time you want one. With the monodrop, we can just take down, we clean it with the wipes, they then go back on the stand and put on charge, so they're available all the time for us. It's just easier, it's a lot lighter, a lot quicker to set up. Um, the only time I tend not to use the monodrop if the medication has to go through at a certain time then we use the infuser so obviously it's pushing the fluids and pushing the medication through otherwise we do tend to use the monodrop it's just a lot easier a lot kinder and a lot safer because they're not so heavy for the patients to have next to the bedside i find it's freed us up quite a bit with the alarms going off because with an infuser Use a pump, it, it literally as soon as it's occluded, it will alarm, so you're constantly at the bedside stopping the inclusion, restarting. Whereas with the monodrop, it gives you a three minute window for an alarm to go off. Someone could bend their arm if it's um, put in a bit of an awkward place, the cannula is slightly in an awkward place. So it just, um, it just frees up the nurse's time. I have trained many of the nurses up on the ward on the best way of using the device and how to set the settings for the alarm to go off, the, the range in which it will allow it to um, change. So yeah, most of the nurses now are quite confident with using the monodrop on the ward. I would recommend monodrop because I find it very useful and quick and easy and at hand. It, it's very good for our patients and frees our time up to concentrate on what we're meant to be doing. I think the use of monodrop could be improved by having that remote central access point of the tablet so we can monitor all the patients which are using the monodrop, find out you know where they are in the therapy and then keep a close eye on when everything's going to end so we can effectively plan our day better and I think that will be a big help.